Hi everyone. Today, uh, I want to talk to you guys about an issue I'm encountering with the PS Remote Play on my Windows 10 PC. Um, that I'm getting an issue. Uh, I know a lot of people also talked about was um, the uh, connection to the server could not be established once you try to uh, authenticate using username and then password. Um, and then I tried for many hours to try to solve this, but uh, che also checked the online guide where some of them says, you know, you could go to the settings and, and you know, copy, copy the link and actually logging through a browser uh, and then copy the redirect back into the logging. Um, that, that probably worked for the older version, but I got the latest version of PS Remote Play on, uh, on my PC, which doesn't allow you to get to the settings and, and do all of that, um, which you can't copy paste back the redirect link. So um, I couldn't figure out why, um, but it took me a while. And uh, I hope to share this uh, workaround with you that uh, you can use uh, for your own uh, issues. So um, firstly, um, first time it works for first time installations. Um, so you go down to PS Remote Play. Uh, it, it applies for both PS5 and PS4 version of the app download so it doesn't matter um, so so you would do that and you would accept all the T's and C's and, and download the PS Remote Play uh, and then install it on your Windows uh, I've already done that so first time you do that you go to PS Remote Play okay and then you get you you would get this error um, uh, which is which is this error here um, but then the workaround was you close that you go to Properties, right click on the icon properties, go to compatibility setting on this tab, uh, run this program in compatibility mode for uh, Windows 8. I know we, we are in Windows 10, but do it in Windows 8. Uh, hit apply um, and that should work. And then actually I try to run it in admin mode. Um, so I run that in admin mode. Uh, you know, you're signing to PlayStation Network. Uh, enter your uh, credentials. Um, and then the password. And you. So normally that's when this error would come up, but uh, if you did this in compatibility mode for Windows 8, um, it will allow you to get in. Um, once you're in, uh, you have to confirm and continue. Uh, then you can choose which console you want to connect to. Uh, my one's on PS5, so give it a crack, and um, it should it should work for you. Now you only have to do this once. Once you authenticate it, um, you no longer need to run the compatibility mode on the icon, and you shouldn't have any I issues logging back in anymore. So um, you can actually disable this, um, hit OK, and um, you should be able to get to your console, uh, Remote Play wherever you are. Um, so hopefully it doesn't, you know, you don't run into this for every one of your laptops or PCs, but um, yeah, it was held very frustrating for me on, on my uh, desktop PC. Uh, so hopefully you find this useful. Um, please share with others that had the same issue um, and hit the like button. Thank you very much. Now it's going to connect, I promise you. There we go, linking your PS5, checking the network. This is a slow part, by the way.